Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Bite, and today I want to show you a really exciting package. It's our punch hole transition package. All right, guys. So I'm going to start with my project open that I'm that I'm editing on, and then in my Finder window, I'm going to navigate to my punch hole transition folder that you get when you download the package. Inside this folder, you're going to find another Premiere project. And what we want to do is grab that and drag it into Premiere. Now you're going to get this dialog box and what you want to do is make sure that you have import entire project selected and hit OK. Now inside of this folder you're going to have everything that you need to make some of the effects that we have. All the assets are already here. So let's start talking about if you want to make some quick and dirty transitions. You don't have a lot of time. You can go in here to our overlays folder and because most of these are already pre-keyed for you, you can just drag and drop them right onto your footage. So let's just find one we like and grab that. I'm going to put it right here above the cut. And you're going to see here that each of these overlays actually comes with a custom piece of sound design that we had made. Uh, our friend Maurice Staub, he's one of the best sound designers in the industry. He created all of these sound effects and so we're really happy to have those. And you can see that because it's pre-keyed, after you drag and drop, it's already going to be showing your footage in the right way. So there's a ton of variety here. Um, the ones that say alpha mean that they're pre-keyed. You don't have to touch anything. This one here, which says difference, difference is the recommended blending mode. So if I put that on the timeline, change the, change the blending mode to difference, then boom, it's going to give me this really awesome effect. I like this one a lot. So now let's talk about another folder here, our keyhole transitions. And these are very, very interesting. We've got a variety of animations here that you can use to make some cool expanding mask transitions. So I'm going to delete this overlay. I'm going to grab the keyhole and put it over my cut. So if we play this back, we can see that since it's already pre-keyed, there's a transition going on now. If that's what you like, then you can use it exactly like that. But there's another way that we like to recommend using these keyholes, and that's using a track mat key. So if you want to try this track mat key transition, I'm going to move my keyhole to the, to the end of the uh, first clip. I'm going to take both of these layers and lift them up one. Then I'm going to take my second clip, drag it under to the beginning of the keyhole, and now I'm going to go into my effects and grab the track mat key. Once you find the track mat key, you want to put that onto your first piece of footage, okay? Not onto the keyhole layer. In the track mat key settings, I want to go in here and make the mat target be video 3. And I'm choosing video 3 because that's where the keyhole file is. So the track mat key is going to use the alpha data from the keyhole to make this transition you're about to see. And it's like that. So it's removed that black background that you had here, and it's using the alpha data to reveal the second clip. Now you'll notice that the edge of the circle, the edge of the perforation, has disappeared. So if you want to bring that back, we just want to duplicate our keyhole layer and go up to the blending mode and then pick screen. And once we've done that, now we have this cool red edge again and you have a beautiful transition. And you can apply that same structure of, of your layers and your effects to any of these keyhole transitions. I just want to point out that this is the same kind of effect that you can make with these stills. So if you take one of these stills and animate it with your scale and position, uh, you can make exactly the same kind of effect. Just duplicate it, put one of them on screen, uh, use a track mat key underneath. And we have two different kinds of PNGs here. There's going to be mask inside and mask outside. Masking out the center of the circle would be a mask inside and masking out the outside would be a mask outside file. So it just gives you a ton of variety and options for making your own custom transitions. 
All right, guys, so now we're gonna get into the pre-built transition part of the video. And before we can actually apply the transitions, we need to import some presets first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our presets folder and we're gonna click import presets. And back here in our finder window, we're gonna open that same punch hole transition folder and we're gonna see that there is a punch hole preset folder. So we wanna go inside of here and inside this folder, we're gonna have all of our preset assets that we need. So what you need to do is quickly import each one of these presets. So I'm just gonna jump ahead and do that now. Okay, so once you've finished, if you look inside this preset folder, you're gonna see all those assets. So I'm actually gonna jump into a new sequence to show you how these pre-built transitions work. The next thing I'm gonna do is go over here and pick the transition I wanna use and grab that and pull it into my timeline. And you wanna make sure that you have this icon unchecked and if you have it unchecked, you'll get all the individual layers of the transition. If you have it checked, you'll just get one nested sequence, but we need the individual layers. So I'm gonna zoom in, and you wanna make sure that you have this transition lined up to the cut. Now, we're gonna see this layer here with text on it, and this is the key layer. So first of all, on my first piece of footage, I wanna make a cut exactly at the start of this layer. Then it's gonna tell us here in this text, it's gonna give us the instructions for what we wanna to do to this piece of footage. So it says nest it, freeze it, apply preset. So I'm gonna go here, hit nest. And when it says freeze, what that means is we're gonna right click and add a frame hold. And you wanna make sure that your playhead is at the very start of this clip when you add the frame hold because what that's gonna do is it's gonna freeze this clip, it's gonna turn it into a still image. And finally, we want to apply the preset. And since we're using the warp four uh, sequence, we're gonna go up here and grab the warp four preset. So I'm gonna drag that on to my nested sequence. And the last step you wanna do is take your nested sequence and actually replace the adjustment layer with that. Now, because we applied the preset on here, we're already gonna be given a couple different effects. And we have the track mat key again. So in here, we wanna make sure that the target is on the right layer for the mat. And because we have a couple of our keyhole transitions that we saw earlier, we wanna make sure that we're targeting the right one. So the first keyhole transition here for me is on video four. And yes, we have video four here. So that's why this is already working correctly. And the final step of the transition is we're gonna take our second piece of footage and we're gonna move it over and line it up with the start of the keyholes. So if I play through, boom. Now we have this amazing punch hole transition. And I just wanna point out guys that these transitions, the pre-built ones, also come with another unique custom sound design and it really elevates these transitions. It takes them to the next level. These are all unique. You're not gonna find anything like this anywhere else. And we're really excited to bring these to you. Now, in this package, there are actually a couple transitions here that require an extra step. Uh, one more step than what we've done here. And you can tell which ones those are because they will have two different presets uh, provided for you. So I'm gonna get rid of warp four and I'm gonna show you how we work with this kind of transition. So for example, warp two actually requires two presets. So let's grab that and bring it in just like we did before. So if we zoom in here, we see that we have another adjustment layer with new instructions containing a few new steps this time. We have nest it, freeze it, apply preset, nest it again, apply track map preset. Okay, so this, is, this should be familiar. We're, once again, we're gonna go into our footage and we're gonna make a cut at the start and end of this adjustment layer. Then we know we want to nest it and play head at the front, freeze it. And then we wanna go up to our presets and we're gonna see the one that says nest with an arrow and then track mat key. And it's written like this so that you understand this goes on the nested sequence and then 
the track mag key preset will be the next one we apply. So I'm going to grab that, drop it on here. And so following the instructions, we're going to nest this again. And then we're going to go and get our track mat key preset and bring that. Now we can take our nested sequence and replace the adjustment layer. And this little guy that we cut off, we're just going to delete. So once again, we want to make sure we have our track mat key settings correct. In this case, our key holds are on video 5 and the setting is already on video 5 so that's good and finally we're going to grab our second clip and drag it underneath to the edge of the keyhole transition and boom that's it now you've got a perfectly working transition so guys the reason this one takes a few more steps is because in the first nested sequence that we made, and then we applied the first preset, so there's some scaling taking place here. And if you have scaling or motion controls going on on your footage, the track mat that you then apply is not gonna work properly. So we had to nest the sequence again, then apply our track mat key preset on top. But other than that, we tried to make it as simple as possible. Just remember to always have your track mat key targeting the right layer. And that's it, guys. These are really beautiful, really unique. We're excited to see what you come up with. Thank you guys for downloading. Thank you for watching. See you next time.